I love fashion, I do fashion, I breathe fashion, and I do give fashion advice twice a week. So don't hesitate and welcome to my new subscribers as well. I have Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, as well as my new website fully available now. It's www.eatprayandshop.com. It's gonna be right here, so check it out. Subscribe, you're not gonna regret this. And I do fashion digital magazine monthly now. So I'm at my second edition, which is for the January one. So it's a lot, a lot, a lot of interesting stuff. As for as outfits, skincare tips, skincare routine, a lot of good tips for winter in general. And Today was a new video and this time it was um, my uh, how to look sexy with small boobies. I mean, <laughs> I thought about doing this video, it was just, it just came out of my mind just like that. So uh, every outfit that you saw on the lookbook part, I'm not gonna like go into details here because it's mostly giving you tips or as far as how to look sexy and cute with like small boobies. So every outfit, the link is going to be in the description box below as usual so you can check it out and uh, yeah. I think the society nowadays definitely is onto the bigger, better it is. And as I would seem, the small baby seems, which is me and other girls. <laughs> Some girls, we do feel like it's not necessarily good or it's not necessarily sexy to have small boobies and uh, that's the reason why I really needed to do this video because 
growing up I was surrounded I, I don't know how I did that most of my friends if not all my friends had bigger boobs than me a lot bigger I mean like really like kind of the big size you know it's gonna be four or five tips as uh, how to look fabulous with small boobies and still dressy all the time always <laughs> one of the first thing that I would say here it's probably I mean for me it's something that is the most important which is to be confident let me tell you about my own story I've never been really big as a person when you look at me I did get a few pounds a year here and there when I was younger but I've never been fat or big and I've always had friends or girlfriends that actually would have like much 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 bigger boobs than myself when boys are starting to look at girls and you grow up and you want to feel sexy and cute and your girlfriend next to you had a lot of like boys around her because she looked much more woman than you do <laughs> and she has much more boobs than you do so she definitely looks hot compared to me for example because I had that really tight type of like little girl type of body because I've never had like big big curves you grow up around that society focus on the beauty being like that that gives you a kind of like lack of confidence because you feel like if you don't look like them you're not pretty and that was my I think that definitely was my Thank you. I would always think like that. I would always be like, oh yeah, maybe I wish I had like bigger boobs. And um, I grew up like that. I grew up with tight thoughts. The more I would grow up, the more I would actually discover more about myself, more about what I can give to people. I say being confident is not looking confident, it's feeling confident. It took me a while. It took me actually a really long time to actually adjust to it and be used to actually look at my body and actually appreciate it, believe it or not. At the same time, I was a really shy person and I'm so little shy when it comes to it. But um, I literally learned how to be confident because I saw what was the advantages to have that kind of small chest, <laughs> a small boobies. Well, I learned more by myself I learned to dress up for my size for my shape and uh, it's the way and I think it's how I was actually able to see what I was able to give to the world and the first person would be myself I'm not gonna dress up for anybody else but myself first if people really like what I do and how I dress up it's gonna be a result of me liking what I put on myself, right? So this is my philosophy of, of things here. This is the way I see things that you need to appreciate what you have on you. You need to appreciate yourself in order to project that kind of confidence. And then other people are gonna see it and they're gonna really enjoy it. And you're actually gonna look even sexier and even, even more beautiful than other people that would have that kind of lack of confidence so saying before doing anything else before trying to put anything too much revealing because if it's too much revealing and you don't feel comfortable people are gonna see it people are gonna notice it and you're not gonna look as sexy or as cute or as pretty because people can feel it that's just the truth so confidence is the first thing rule number two when it comes to look sexy and cutie with like smaller boobs is to reveal much more than any type of like bigger boobs type of would reveal why because when you have smaller boobs it doesn't look as tacky even if you have something that is way too revealing when you have smaller boobs it looks classier in a way when you have that kind of really open type of top like the, the dress i'm having right now like the dresses that you saw in the lookbook part of course because we don't have much we don't see much right so definitely when you have smaller boobs you can reveal as much as you want but you don't have much to show so it's gonna look cute i'm not saying that bigger boobs girls shouldn't reveal too much i mean if you feel it's your style to like to reveal too much in general this is you maximize revealing believe me like i said i mean now i'm used to it 
I know I don't have much to show, so if I need to maximize it, I will maximize it because I don't have much to show, <laughs> right? The rule that I would say here, it would be to actually, I guess, up for any other type of naked revealing part on your body as the back for example because the believe me girls it's a super sexy part of the body to reveal it would be the shoulders it would be that kind of part that is actually really close to your face but has that kind of classy central really sexy vibe without being definitely tacky which is the new sexiness it's the new it's the new boobilicious you know? The fourth rule that I would say here it would be to maybe maximize citroness. You saw it in the lookbook part, my lace body so that I got at Zara. And I think this one is so cute, it's so sexy. Here it's definitely see-through, but it that kind of like lace details around the shoulders and around the, the boob area, which I love a lot because it it's still see-through but not as much that I would want because myself as a person I don't like to reveal too much when it comes to that area Here you have that kind of really nice boobilicious area that is revealed but in, it's a see-throughness and because it's black it's even sexier because black I don't know black is like mysterious it's like sexy and you can definitely definitely accessorize it with your bra and uh, Nowadays we have all types of bra, all types of bra, I mean, but my tip here, especially for my uh, bodysuit, would be maybe to have a black one because if it's white or any other color, I think it's gonna be, sh it's gonna show way too much through the transparency of the body lace and to me, it, it would then be maybe too much. This is my opinion, that's what I think. I mean, it's up to you to do it or to not do it, but I think it's not something that I would do. I would still wear something black underneath it. I want to have some details. And here my bra had that kind of really nice sparkling stun in the middle. And I think it's just enough for me to have that kind of sexy vibe. My fifth rule is to accessorize, but this time it would be around the neck area. If you want to have something too revealing, you can opt for really a nice, nice thin necklace. That would be literally, literally sexy enough, really pretty and really sensual. But here, advice, if it's like too long, up for something like thinner. That is actually much more like elegant and classy, still sensual, like refined and uh, not something too big because when it's like too much revealing, when you add something too big on it, to me, it's you're adding way too much, to me up for really nice fabrics velvet later silk um silk um the lace in general this kind of fabric is known to look to make you look so elegant sexy sensual when you want to look sexy and not tacky or not too much vulgar up for nice high quality fabrics I'm not gonna be mean, I don't want to be mean, it's just so when it comes to that kind of sexiness that you're looking for, when you have smaller boobs, yes you want to reveal just enough or you can reveal much more, but having that kind of rich fabric, nice quality fabric, nice prints, it would add up a lot more to your outfit because it's gonna be so much more elegant. You're still gonna have that kind of sophisticated vibe. Last tip here is to make up. Like you don't need to have a mask on your face to look really nice. But just to have that kind of cutie, cutie glowing face to me is just the mess when it comes to it. The, the example would be this one. Everything is in black because I love black in general. I have something that is really 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 revealing here but I really wanted to stay with something like definitely more subtle but the pop color is my lipstick red lipstick with black in general I mean this is the perfect combination for, for me probably any type of girl small boobies or not you have to have a pop something in general like I said having confidence is definitely the first part you can look you can look like a million dollar girl, but if you don't feel comfortable in your own outfits, people are gonna see it, people are gonna feel it, 
people are gonna get that kind of awkwardness that you're gonna have because you just don't feel good in it and it's not gonna be as good as somebody else that would wear the same thing but look and feel definitely confident in it so like yourself appreciate yourself pamper yourself not being narcissistic just enough to love yourself and then project that kind of good vibe confidence good energy so that people can actually grab it and love it and want it to be actually around you much more you know being a lot younger when i didn't have that much confidence it didn't even has anything to do with me looking like a little girl it was just me not feeling confident enough compared to the other girls because i felt and thought that they looked fabulous and with these kind of big boobs they look like women and stuff and i just don't think the same about myself so that resulted in me actually not attracting as many people as i wanted at the end of the day i still have the same body that hasn't changed and i can see the difference i can feel the difference i can see the difference because I grow my confidence like you can definitely do it it just takes a while because you're pretty you're fabulous you look gorgeous so don't even like don't ever 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 think the opposite because you have to think that you have to feel fabulous and you are already so all you have to do is just to grow that confidence and look like a million dollar baby even with like something as simple as a little black dress like you don't need to do much more than that sometimes you can look simple but the confidence is gonna be enough to actually attract half the people of this world so be confident feel it and believe me result is gonna be amazing believe me I've been through it I've done it and if I could do it you can too that's true <laughs> That was all about my tips for today for looking fabulous with small boobies. I hope it helped you. I hope it gave you actually tips. That was the end for this week. I will see you next week. Same time, Tuesday and Thursday. Until then, have a beautiful, wonderful weekend. Be pretty and smile because it's free. Bye.